Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is staying warm this chilly, chilly Saturday. And hopefully you can hear me this time. Because I know last Saturday I was on for a good 30 minutes and uh, yeah. Silly me, didn't have any volume. see if we're actually on it looks like we may be actually live yay okay so we are good let me check my volume and see okay it says it's actually working on there let's let red know that we're on so he can let me know whether or not he can actually hear me Because we know he didn't like it very much when I didn't let him know last time I was streaming. <laughs> so, I'm here. Hi. Hello. How are you today? I'll be streaming for about three hours today. That will give me, that's what, 10, 20, 11, 11 20, 12. About 1.30 I'll stream till, and then, because... It's supposed to be the, and I am here. Yay! Can you hear me? We're doing mic check. Because I don't want to go the next 30 minutes without being heard. <laughs> so I'll be streaming today until about 1.30. When the temperature is supposed to be at its highest. Because I have to go outside and give everybody some fresh water. Um, or break up the water since it is nine degrees. So, yay. I can hear you. Yay. Good. So, and then I'm not entirely sure how long that will take me. So I'll stop streaming for that period of time. And then depending on whether or not I have to help bring in the firewood, um, I will stream again around four o'clock. I'm hoping it doesn't take more than a few hours to get everything done. In the cold weather, everything takes longer than it needs to. So, but I did do one thing. I got a uh, water heater um, for my rabbits in the barn. So... I'm going to hook that up today, so hopefully I don't have to keep bringing their water bottles in and letting them defrost and then taking them back out. I should probably bring them in at night and then take them out in the morning, but I always tend to forget. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which part is what? <laughs> I have a heat I have a little space heater right by my toes so my toes stay warm. It's so funny. Okay, so let me do this really fast. And go here. Let's see. I try to I try to have one of my things on so that I can keep track of the it takes longer when it is cold. Yes, it takes longer when it is cold. Cuz normally if it's warm outside, it'll take me maybe 45 minutes to get everybody taken care of. But that's depending on if everybody needs water cuz we ha they have my sheep have really big water troughs so if you make sure that they stay topped off it doesn't take too long but some days it gets really hot and it gets really low really fast so it takes a little longer some days but not too much longer not like in the winter where if you forget to bring the hose in you got to bring the hose into the house or into a warmer area let the hose thaw then take it back out and then but see, I'm ahead of the curve there because the hose is already warm. I just have to take it back outside. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I just have to take it back outside so that I can um, hook it up to the pump that we have outside. Because uh, the pump that we have outside is like one of those hand pumps. So the freeze, the, the water does not come up the... Uh, the pipe until you turn on the pump so the pipe doesn't freeze and we always have water out at the barn which is nice okay so there is that there is that okay so now I can see everybody's text messages or anybody who messages me <sighs> okay so I found I have this I have a little magic couple that I'm trying to find a house for. I went on the gallery and I found this one. I thought it was really cute. It's it's called a medieval farm. It's actually quite adorable. It's not the one farm that I have been searching for because one day when I was not streaming and I was just farting around on here um, I came across a farm. I don't remember who made it, but I do know that the title was My Perfect Farm. I haven't been able to find it searching for it that way. Um, so I'm just kind of going, and I know I was on this lot when I was, when I had actually found it. And the lot that we are in is the, the, the ranching one. I don't remember the names of the little towns. But I found this one. I thought it looked cute. I figured I could come in and explore a little bit, see if I like it. Maybe we'll play with it. I don't know. That is a nice place. Now play. Haha, ha, no building. <laughs> Okay, Red. <laughs> I just need, because they are magic users, so I may have to add some stuff for them. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, and I don't know that I want to start with them having babies right away. I think I want to get them to level up in their stuff, maybe get them farming, maybe do, um, doing some challenges. I don't know yet. Okay, because we got our little thing here. We got an area where we can have a little horsey, I guess. A horsey, a horse. We can have a llama or a cow. Oh, I love the fact that it's kind of uneven. Okay, yes. Let's double check. Make sure we have everything we need because it has a bedroom. So, because... This is actually a two level. We got to make sure it's got a uh, got a bathroom too. Being medieval, it may not have a bathroom. <laughs> That's actually really cute. I like that. Okay. Come down here. We have a little fireplace and a little kitchen. Okay. Okay. I can get behind this. Yeah. All right, come across. Oh, there's a little, another room, a little baby room. Okay, come down. I like the little bridge there. Ooh, look at that, another little kitchen. Means there's no computer here. Oh, and there's more, more little rooms over here. Nice, okay, I think we'll go ahead and we'll play with this one. But we might have to update it to a little bit more modern times. Because <laughs> we might want to have them um, do, uh, what you call it, the online learning. And there's the bathroom. The bathroom is away from the house. And that actually makes a lot of sense. So <laughs> it works. Okay, so they're going to have to run all the way outside if they want to go to the bathroom. That might get a little tedious, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> do, 
Do that off stream, lol. Do what off stream? Oh, okay, I get you. The changing stuff up, got it. Coffee's hot. We are good to go. Okay, so we're gonna give our we're gonna give our girl we're gonna have, we're give give our family a little bit of a okay. So we're gonna go back since I see manage worlds because I already have my couple here in another area um, so we're gonna go back where are they over here we're going to come here we're going to play and then we'll have them move on to this medieval farm See, aren't they cute? They're so adorable. And they have no home right now, so we'll have them move. So, and I don't think that they're actually married yet. I think, yeah, they are engaged. Okay, so we'll go with him and we'll have him move them. And they were cloud gazing because there's not even any romance option with them right now because they haven't flirted or done anything yet. So we'll have them move household. This is going to be a challenge, I think. Little wild foxes, go away. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go here, and we're going to go up here, because this is where I put the house. Uh-oh. Uh. Yeah, we don't have... Oh, we do have enough funds. But we're going to cheat anyway, and we're going to do the free real estate. Just so we can keep the money that we have, so if we need to, we can buy... We can, we can, we can buy stuff to be able to... They are... I am cheating a, I am creating a family mom, dad, and daughter for the legacy play, even though I am terrible at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I have to say I'm pretty bad. I, I have a tendency to get bored. That's why I like to build, because when you build, you can always change things up. You can always create something new, you know, or even creating a new sim. It's still creating a new sim. So you're not stuck in the same thing of trying to do the same thing over and over again, because it gets quite boring to me. Okay, so that's right. We were doing this. Um, for real, real estate on. Haha. -ha. Okay, so we are going to go here and we are going to move in. Furnished? Yes. If we need to, we can change it up a bit. But we're not going to play the whole time because we need to actually play a game. And hopefully with... It having challenges, it won't get too boring. <laughs> okay, your neighborhood's eagle footprint is neutral. Okay, so come over here and elope immediately. Plan wedding event. No. Ask to be more present. What the hell does that mean? Let's see. Talk about your interests. Describe new ideas. Okay. What are you doing? Where did you go? Where did they go? <laughs> oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, so you can get up and down there, too. Oh. Okay. There is no books here, either. Oh, and there's a crib there? Nice. I like this. Very rustic. Okay. And I think... Okay. She is a purveyor of potions. 
and okay so he wants to be the homesteader so this is probably a really good place to have them be I forgot what I made them want to be so she let's see what does he have to do catch 10 fish reach level three of gardening skill okay well it's raining I'm not sure they're gonna want to do that right now so and then for her become a spellcaster she's already done that travel to the magic realm and learn a potion recipe sorry for bothering you I wanted to offer promotion of your channel <sighs> see I'm sorry but I'm not entirely sure how this works and anytime I've ever talked to anybody about trying to figure out how it works they always give me the runaround so I have decided that anytime somebody pops up with some sort of a promotion that because I've had so many bad experiences before, I just, I decline. I apologize, but I, it's not something that I want to do. Thank you for the offer, though. It was nice of you to try to try to help out. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to need some books. Okay, let's do this really, really fast. Just really, really fast. We're going to check out, because I know the lot has uh, two bad traits. What are the simple living and off-grid? Okay, so let's give ourselves some lot traits. Um, the kitchen sucks, so we're not going to put that in. Um, we'll have great soils. We will do, um, well, it's not really a home studio because it's simple living and off grid. So we'll have it be homey. Um, we'll have a natural well. We'll have the gnomes visit too. We'll have the gnomes visit. So when anything does break, we'll have that little bit of extra help. And then, hmm. I got quite a few on here, don't I? Let's see, sunny aspect, beautiful scenery, really makes this place uplifting. When the sun goes down, Sim may get energized, happy or inspired spacious sims have more personal space on this lot they are calmer but their friendships decay faster from being distant we don't want that a romantic aura makes it easier to get other people in the mood for the good okay No romance allowed, no special walk styles, noisy. Ah, should we put them on a ley line, Red? Make double chances for twins and triplets. I watched this, I watched this, uh, a short from a guy who was playing The Sims. Got his Sim pregnant and he figured he was only going to have one. He wound up having triplets. <laughs> We'll put them on a ley line. Okay. All right. So, and then we're going to get some books just really fast because they need to be able to study and do that kind of stuff. So we're going to go in here. Hmm. I always do. Okay. <laughs> um, objects by function. Okay. So I need books. Come on. It's taking a bit. Okay, it's in storage. Let's see. We're just going to... Maybe we'll find... Because I did find some antique books in here. Here. Vintage books. That'll work. Okay, we'll use these. 
and we'll put them up here next to the stove. That'll work. Okay, so now that we've done that, they've got books, because as long as they have a book, they can read, right? Okay, of course, the idea is to... Maybe we'll make them have... Oh, look at that, she's out. she's outside in the rain with a fire. Okay, that just doesn't make any sense to me. All right, so we'll come over here. Uh, we'll have her purchase some animals. Which do we want to purchase? Do we want to do beige llama, white llama, brown cow, or spotted cow? Hmm. I think we're going to do a llama. Let's do a llama. I don't know if you can... Well, you can get milk from a cow. Hmm. And you can get wool from the llama and you can only get one huh. we'll get a llama and then we can purchase another um it's a llama go over here and 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 take care of this llama. Get a llama nugget of advice. Clean the beige llama. Okay. No. Does this have? Oh, it does. You can actually put a horse in there. This off-the-grid house is generating a water surplus. Objects that use water will now fully work as long as more water is generated than is being used. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so... Refill with prairie grass hay. Food supply is full. Actions. Trade upgrade. So we need some livestock upgrade parts. Olivia is missing some required items. Or Olive, sorry. Her name is Olive. <laughs> Call Ranch Animal Exchange. Oh, buy mini goats and mini sheep. This doesn't work off grid. Well, that is interesting. You cannot purchase a horse. If you are on an off-grid lot, hmm. but you can purchase many goats and many sheep. That is so weird. But they have stuff over here for freak a, a, a horse. I wonder if the person that created this didn't realize that you couldn't actually put a horse on this lot. If it functions off grid. Ah, she's learning how to cook. Oh, come over here. Cross stitch. Nice. Um, a howdy introduction. Funny introduction. Oh, she's uncomfortable. Probably because she's standing in the rain. Okay, where did the hubby go? Or the, well, not hubby yet, fiance. Oh, he's upstairs. And reading. Okay, invite the neighbors in, out of the rain. Ask about getting a horse. No, nope, we, we already know we can't have a horse on this lot. 
friendly. More choices. Talk about new research. Oh, that's right. She's a kitchen witch, too. Check Discord. Sent pics of mom, dad, and daughter. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so the mom looks like that uh, generated sim that will pop up occasionally in the outfit. The dad is cute. So is the daughter. Nice. Very cool. Are they... Are they just regular sims or are they werewolves? <laughs> I always have to ask. Because <laughs> you're best at making werewolves. Oh, she's running out to use the loo. Okay, let's see. Well, since she didn't invite them in. No. Come over here. I was sending them home. More choices. Well, go back. Funny introduction. Who is that? Well, welcome to the neighborhood has started. Okay, those are some cute shorts, I guess. I think those might be bathing suit bottoms. Expand. Oh, uncomfortably wet. So, Dad is a werewolf. I use the genetic family generator to make daughter, and she is also a werewolf. Nice. But Mom isn't. chat here have everybody go inside because yeah dad is on the gallery otis blackburn nice very cool what they can't go inside okay so okay well why can't they go inside? Okay, come on. It's taking forever. No. Okay, so King of Diamonds, Classical Door. Okay, so they should be able to come inside. And there's enough room. Yes. Well, let's see. It's actually not giving me that. Make invite indoors. Okay. There we 